you guys do it? Because I said, Monday? let's not do it for you. They, they were dissing you, Tommy, so. All right, and then we thought that you could get good notes from Avery and Tommy. So, so we didn't hear how much the boys were talking about you. So, no, I'm just kidding, Tommy, they better. So, graphing square of functions. First of all, I want to tell you the parent function. The parent function function is always the one that is like we make the changes to. So, it's the, the basic graph. So, the parent function is f of x equals the square root of x. So that is our parent function, and I'm going to sketch you the little graph of what it looks like here in just a second. Got to find it. So the parent function looks like this. Yeah, f of x equals the square root of x. And here's what that look, will look like. It starts at 0, 0. Now, let's think about that. Can I ever get a negative answer here? No. So what quadrant is this probably all going to be in? Uh, it's all going to be in the first quadrant. So we're going to also put a little restriction here that x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Because we can't put a negative answer or number in there or it's going to be uh, undefined or it's going to be imaginary and we aren't dealing with that. So here's what your parent function is going to look like. It's going to start at 0, 0 and it's going to go like this. So that's the parent graph. And when we call this res this restriction the restriction is called the domain. Because that means that's all the things that x can be. Okay? So the restriction is the domain, and we've talked about that before. Now what about the range here? So our our, our domain is that x has to be greater than or equal to zero. What about our range? Look at the graph up and down. What's the, the lowest value that y, this is our y-axis, like can be? Zero. So y also has to be what? Zero. Greater than zero, right? It has to be greater than zero. So for the range, y also has to be greater than or equal to zero. Now, there's some things that we can do to change this graph a little bit. And if we look on page 339, if you look on page 339, and you're going to just jot this little chart down in your notes. 339, there's a gray, there's a gray chart on 339, and I'd like you to jot that chart down in your notes. So here's what we got. Um, look at mine, maybe add a few things if you want to to yours to make it a little bit more uh, easy to understand. And uh, then we're going to probably on our decimals, we'll graph some of those and see what they look like. And see how it actually affects them because really graphing them is going to take forever. So that's why I love Desmos because it's nice and easy to, to do that. So just as you're writing, some things that can change is that parent function, it can move left or right, it can move up or down, it can reflect, and it can be like it stretched out, or it can be skinnier down closer to the axis. So all of those are things that can happen with different numbers being in different places. And all of those changes happen to what we call the parent graph. So we'll do that here in just a few minutes. that's when you kind of understand it more when you're actually looking at the graphs. And then after we've looked at them, then we will be able to uh, do some without using the, the decimals. You know, oh, it's plus one, that means it goes up one. Oh, it's times one third, that means it's going to um, be compressed. It's going to be down lower, those kind of things. So. If you're done, get your Chromebook out. You just can get your Chromebook. Get it out, please. Do you need to use mine? Do you not have yours? Okay. Tell me you have yours? Awesome. All right. Uh, I'm going to stop recording now for fun. 
So for our assignment, we're going to do page 341. What did I say? 21 through 26. You're just going to sketch the graph. I don't know what the directions are, but this is what I want you to do. Sketch the graph. Tell me the domain and the range. And Houston, be excited. There's no algebra tomorrow because John Baylor. Huh? You to turn it off I will. I'll turn it off in a minute. I just turned it back on again, so.